Hi hey guys, good morning, July 24th, 2021. In this video, we're going to talk about the good, the bad, the ugly mRNA trade. A mRNA trade that has put thousands in, in instance, hundreds of thousands of dollars in our traders' pockets here with 13 Market Moves. And how after multiple weeks of, of locking incredible trades on mRNA, I finally make a mistake this Friday. So we're going to glance specifically at what I was looking at, what caused me to turn the trade around, and hopefully going for these analysis, you're going to be able to understand the trading view uh, of these trades just a little bit better. So first, let's go back to let's go back to this chart right here, guys. On this chart, if you've been following our channel, about a few weeks back. I posted a video on mRNA saying it was going to break out right here and the chart was going to resemble that to that NVDA chart which basically uh, at that point kept climbing day after day after day higher and higher and higher and higher and higher. So in many videos recently we've been mentioning this pattern which is a cup with a handle pattern and when things break out of it uh, they can run substantially higher. Um, so we've been pretty aggressively bullish on mRNA buying every possible dip that the stock has had, staying with the trade, but there is some wild that happened this week on two occasions and I wanted to actually break down in detail to help you understand things a little bit better. Now overall we do think mRNA has got another move higher, way higher. As a matter of fact uh, at one point based on calculations we had we thought it was going to hit 400 level uh, this week, but as often with weekly options so the moves they may not materialize by Friday, so a lot of times they will be carried over into Monday, Tuesday. So Monday, Tuesday, still expecting the MRNA to make a, another wild move. No, it's just a huge a buyer uh, of close to 3 million contracts and 365 expiration. Basically, people don't buy 365 expiration because they think something is going to go to 365 uh, because there's clearly cost associated with it. Well, at that point, they were buying it for a couple of bucks. So that have to go at least to 367 to break even. But nobody's going to invest $3 million into an options trade just to break even. So uh, generally speaking, we would assume that based off uh, some of the observations that we've had on this stock in the last few weeks, that it could still easily hit 400 bucks. This $3 million call trade that was done Thursday night, four minutes before market close, was actually indeed the best entry um, that we have recommended to uh, our traders and the next morning of course you know the stock uh, shoots much higher but we're going to get into that part in just a minute so the overall outlook for the stock is still highly favorable uh, it is going to present a very beautiful short an opportunity at some point but i did jump the trigger a little bit earlier on friday on that and let me show you exactly what i was looking at so in order to understand that first thing you would have to understand is what has happened on Tuesday so we've been getting into this trade you know here last week buying this week's calls and on Monday we've been getting into this trade uh, at you know different levels right around here so everybody had huge huge profits but then we have a sharp sell-off right here and if we analyze this sharp uh, sell-off it was due to a Mnuchin speech about how nobody wants the vaccine, nobody wants to take it. So just a bunch of derogatory comments in a speech. That's not a reason to all of a sudden turn bearish in a stock. However, it is a good idea to study the conditions which led to that sharp fallout to the magnitude of 40 bucks. I literally had traders that went from being positive 30,000 to, you know, minus uh, uh, 10,000 on, on, on this situation right here. But we did stay firm with the trade. We added more calls here. We added more calls here. We added more calls here, and so throughout the week, uh, for everybody that stayed with the trade, guys, congratulations. You do have beautiful uh, profits, and uh, with the exception, of course, of the last part here on Friday, which we're going to get to again in just a second. So going back to Tuesday, analyzing the situation, there is a pattern. If we were to look a little closer, it is a, on a shorter time frame. If we were to look at the one-day, one-minute chart, it was... A top information also exuberating some uh, head and shoulder type uh, again on the one minute time frame. But what started all of this, if we we're to look at all three uh, stocks, all three vaccine stocks, which we've been highly bullish on, okay, uh, sometimes 
one stock out of the group is going to show early signs that something is about to happen. So if you notice on the time frame right here on Tuesday, mRNA is not the stock that initiates this big drop in the group. The first stock that actually began dropping was NBAX, which was also our position on the call side. We've been getting in it uh, in this 180, 190 area. So on Monday, the next day, clearly everybody had phenomenal profits because the stock shoots to 200, almost $231. And then it has this full up right here. So looking at the charts, this stock in the group has been the leading indicator when other stocks in the group are going to fall. So if we go back to Tuesday and we examine this fallout, this huge sizable move to the downside, which happened lightning fast, okay, NVX was a leading stock in the group to begin that reversal from this highly bullish move, right? Highly bullish move over a day and a half. It was the first stock to reverse this move lower. The second stock that began dropping shortly after this one was BNTX. All right, and so you can see it right here. BNTX dropped from like 250 bucks all the way down right here. And guys, congratulations to some of you that actually uh, got in. We've been getting people in, uh, in BNTX right here in the 220s, uh, 230s. Uh, but some of you just signed up. You were coming in. We're getting you in this trade right here, so it didn't work out. Uh, momentarily, but congratulations to you because you stuck with the trade despite of this uh, crazy drop right here. It doesn't look this bad here, right? But if we actually try to make this picture a little bit bigger, all right, uh, I mean, it's, it, it's quite ugly when you're sitting there and you're actually in a day trade on this, uh, potentially, you know, considering holding this thing over a few days and you just said, you know, if you didn't have a perfect entry, you're like, oh my God, it just got in right here. It's breaking out to all time highs based off the longer time frame chart. But all of a sudden you get this, you're like, oh God, what's going on? Okay, so you're freaking out. You know, your fear factor jumps times 100 and everything inside of you wants to get out of this trade. And that's so, so we've held you through this trade. And as you can see, it's done. Um, you probably saw Barry's video. Barry took 5K to 28K. On this trade alone, he stayed in for three days. Uh, he works uh, in Atlanta. He had to, uh, you know, we actually had to pull the trigger. He couldn't trade Friday, so uh, he got out of this trade on on Thursday. So nice stories like this, guys, are all over the place. But unfortunately, we did have some traders, depending on their entries and exits, and the point where they start with us, we did have some uh, guys that blew up their accounts. I mean, I got guys with 3K account that blew up all the way down to 300 bucks. I mean, I got some guys with 1,000 bucks that blew up their accounts all the way down to 68 bucks. Uh, but so it's not, guys, when you sign up with us, it's not all pretty, okay? There are guys that are losing money. And at the same time, there are guys that are making an exceptional amount of money. It all boils down to entries and exits and your account size, being able to add at the right places and so on. So the biggest challenge, of course, is trading with a small account, okay? Nobody's gonna come out and just say it the way I say it, is it's the hardest thing to do is trading with a small account. So that's why a lot of videos that I record for you guys when I am showing you, they start with an account of 3K, 4K. I mean, anybody can trade with a $400,000 account. You don't have to be a rocket scientist, okay? But trying to take 3 or 4K to 40K is a lot more challenging than trying to take, you know, uh, 400K to 440,000. But going back to focusing on these charts, Despite of basically a lot of guys having tremendous success uh, with these trades in the last couple of weeks, we did have some casualties, which mainly resulted on a Friday. So understand this BNTX trade, right? It, it looked pretty bad right here. And this was the second stock that was making the drop. So the first stock that started reversing on Tuesday uh, was NBX. The second stock that began reversion on Tuesday was BNTX right here. And the third stock that resulted in a magnificent drop as a result was mRNA. Okay, so mRNA, let me uh, bring the same time frame. So first, NBX drops, then BNTX drops, then mRNA drops. Now, they all drop pretty much at the same time, but 
It starts with NVEX, then we notice signs of weakness in VNTX, and so by the time those two are already down quite a bit, mRNA is still trading right up here. Okay, and so things are still rather bullish for mRNA, guys. This is a very important point. Okay, so we're talking, guys, just to summarize what I've said so far, we're talking about a vaccine sector, three stocks, but yet if you are a day trader and you're sitting in front of your computer all day, you will notice some correlations. And there's always one stock in the group which is going to begin a bigger move whether it's to the upside or the downside, a little bit earlier than the rest of the group. And in this case, it was NVAX. So NVAX right here, after setting the stop information, started dropping like a rock. Now, understanding this context of Tuesday is going to help you understand why at some point we switched to puts on a Friday. After staying with the trade, staying with it, and being right, through the whole week, okay, buying calls here, buying calls here, all right, how does this mRNA trade uh, results in a disaster on a Friday, okay, so let me bring this up right here, so when, when we're looking here at mRNA, okay, do you see the stop information right here, I mean, this is a, generally, in 90% of cases, this sort of top information is going to result in a substantial drop. All of these are bare uh, reversal candles right here. When it, basically, when you guys see this, I mean, it pretty much, pretty much guarantees a further drop. It it was an outlier this Friday because clearly mRNA finished higher. And guys, we started the day being highly bullish on mRNA, highly highly bullish. I mean, I've sent out guys messages. Uh, at you know 7 8 a.m. saying hey cash out on mRNA first at 342 level second target 348 349 uh, third target 355 well we never got to 355 understanding these situations sometimes there's certain conditions that you observe that absolutely has you know you have to take action on them so when we notice this let me walk you through this when we notice what the same stock that caused this domino effect on Tuesday, the same stock which was NVAX, the same stock on Tuesday that that started dropping off first. The same stock on Friday begins the drop off. So let me make this a little bit bigger so you, you can see this. All right, so NVAX, look, we're not at, you know, we're not at 10, 11 o'clock. It, it began the drop before BNTX and mRNA begin to drop. So if we're, this is NVX on a Friday, okay? On Tuesday when it began dropping, it caused BNTX and mRNA to drop shortly after that. So when we notice this move, like, hey, the market is highly positive Friday. Um, you got positive catalysts all over the board. Uh, the same guys that were saying nobody needs the vaccine on Tuesday, now they're saying, yeah, the whole world needs vaccine. So, I mean, the conditions were highly, highly bullish for all vaccine stocks. But yet, this stock does go higher on all this positivity on Friday morning. Then it begins reversal. Well, it's the same condition that we had right here, right? I mean, it starts out highly bullish, and it begins to reverse. Notice this top information. It's very similar to the top information in the mRNA I just showed you a, a few minutes ago. So... When we noticed this thing was stinking, we're like, hold on, this could be the sign that we're going to get the same identical move, or maybe worse than we had on a Tuesday. And so at that point, we were only watching this stock. Now, the second stock we know in the domino effect is BNTX, right? BNTX, remember, this was the second stock to react on Tuesday before the ultimate drop in the mRNA came. So look at this, right? Shortly after, shortly after, NVEX begins the drop, this one starts dropping as well. Slight delay from NVEX, but this one begins to drop too. So knowing these two criteria and factors, okay, we're thinking it's going to be another domino effect just like on Tuesday. Well, there's a big distinction between trading options on Tuesday and trading options on Friday. On Tuesday, you still have another four days to go on your options expiration if you're in the morning. If you're on Tuesday night, you still got another three days to go 
on the options expiration. Well, on Friday, you don't have the luxury to do so. So when things begin sh doing and showing you exact same stuff and setup, it's time to take action. It's not the time at this point to stay in the trade on a Friday. It's time to take action. So we're in a situation where NDEX is already reversed. BNTX is reversing. So who's next? Well, MRNA is next. MRNA, by definition, based on the domino situation we witnessed here on Tuesday, we should be seeing the same type of correlation here Friday. And we do get it briefly. We do get it short term. Um, and if I was to bring this up, I mean, when you look at a 5D chart, it just doesn't look as scary, right, when you're, uh, when you're actually trading with a, with a one-minute chart. So here's that setup. Here's that reversal, okay? This is the sign. It's starting to fold the domino effect of NBAX and BNTX. So logically, okay, we would get a sharp move to the downside, which we begin to, to get here. All right. And so we've gotten you out of the calls on uh, MRNA between a level of 333 and 338. Right here, right over here, we were getting you out of these calls, guys. And some of you got out a little bit quicker, some of you got out a little bit slower, so, you know, but basically got you out of this situation right here, and we told you to buy puts. And by the time you got into the trade, maybe you were here, and so maybe briefly you go positive because of this, and so at that point, it's all confirmation. It's all good. Uh, we are reversing, and we're getting pretty much identical picture of what was happening on Tuesday, right? So, and again, on Tuesday, after we get the first couple of uh, red candles, right? It's just, it's, it just, it's a collapse after that small bounce, another collapse uh, under 300 bucks. I mean, that was a 40 point move. So we could have had an easy repetition of this situation. Uh, I mean, it was too close. The uh, NVX begins to drop, BNTX begins to drop. This stock was supposed to be dropping. The, it was the third domino in the sector. And instead of getting a follow through on the drop, we're getting a bounce. So the three key takeaways from this observation, there's somebody on a mission to drive mRNA, particularly mRNA stock even higher from where it's at. In the past, when I have been faced with a situation like this, it resulted in a major, major breakout higher in the stock. And it typically boiled down what we find out months later, there was a particular investment bank or two investment banks that have decided to just uh, commit and put a, gr a much greater allocation than what you would typically expect a big hedge fund to put into a trade. And that's how they are able to drive these prices substantially higher. Uh, it's typically, I mean, we can look back in the history of GoPro. Behind the GoPro move from, you know, back then $30, $40 all the way to $96, the stock just kept going pretty much higher and higher every day. I mean, that was years ago. But what we discover later, there was just one bank, one bank that put like 50% of the assets in that one stock and they just kept bidding it higher and higher and higher and higher and higher until they drove all the sellers out. So there's somebody behind this move and at this level, they're buyers and they're not buyers at this level because they're trying to break even, okay? These are the same people buying that, you know, keep putting millions of dollars into call options and this thing. So. When we see something like this, where overall the sector should be moving up or down, but there's definite preference in this sector towards this particular stock, because the other two didn't finish as strong. As a, as a matter of fact, NVX finished in the red. So the correlation that was so easy to observe on Tuesday should have been repeated on a Friday, but it did not. It did not because there's somebody behind this move right here in mRNA and they are 100% committed to driving the hell out of this stock higher. So when we go back to the chart of mRNA right here, guys, and it looks like it's just it's already at the moon. And what, as a trader, you're sitting there thinking, okay, well, this thing just can't go higher anymore. You're sitting there as a trader and thinking, look, this thing just can't go higher anymore. You will be shocked. I mean, there is a great chance this thing is going to be at 4 a 400, maybe 450. Guys, shortly here in the next 10 days, two weeks, I mean, we could see this thing above 400 bucks. 
And this could be one of the greatest shorts in the upcoming few months. So if you'd like to catch probably the most phenomenal trade in this stock in the next couple of months here, make sure you click the link below, sign up, okay? Schedule a 20-minute coaching call. Get started. And then for some of you that came in on the last part of this trade, guys, you missed out this whole major move because we've nailed this breakout. We've nailed breakout on a lot of other stocks recently. We don't have time to post a video on every trade that guys take, but there's been some beautiful trades. You know, guys, I love to short stocks. I love to buy puts. But when you see something massive like this, okay, we've stayed with calls on this thing from here to here to here to here to here to here. And the very first time, you guys know if you've been trading with me in the last few weeks, I have not bought a put option in like three weeks on any, maybe besides shorting some travel stocks, uh, which have been beautiful trades uh, last week, as you know. But, I mean, outside of that, guys, there's money going into this thing. There's somebody major behind this move. We're going to find out in a few months who it was, but... Uh, they are on the mission to drive this thing not just to the moon but beyond moon so get ready if you're not sure how to trade this thing we've nailed probably about 50 trades back to back and i finally made a mistake guys i made a mistake on a friday uh i was looking at these correlations between nvex and bntx uh that really caused this massive move and we could have easily gotten it uh, based on everything I know, we should have gotten a similar move in the mRNA to the downside based on what the other two stocks in the sector were doing. But we got an outlier type move. Um, confirms the fact that there's, there's just somebody is highly, highly committed to moving this thing higher. Despite of what NBEX is going to do, despite of what BNTX is going to do, uh, which our second favorite besides mRNA would be BNTX, uh, mainly for the chart reasons, right? For the chart reasons, the whole week I've been screaming at traders saying, hey, BNTX about to break out, BNTX, BNTX, BNTX. Uh, the reason being is uh, because it's another breakout, like it's another, it's not a cup with a handle. This is actually a cup without a handle. So you get this cup sometimes, it doesn't form a handle, it'll just break out. So instead of like maybe making a handle here and 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 then breaking out what it does it just breaks out straight up it, it just breaks out so uh, we're buying any pullback in this because at this point I mean look how incredible this positive volume been so when the stock breaks out uh, from from a level to the upside like this I mean this is a beautiful move I mean look on this much of volume so that tells you that whoever's been buying this between you know, 248 and 280, they are going to be on a mission to continue driving it higher. Does not mean the stock cannot pull back, but it means like it, it's got some solid protection around these levels. And, you know, these, these are some crazy buying opportunities because these things could fly. So mRNA, BNTX, guys, uh, any pullback is a buying opportunity still despite of how far these stocks have actually ran higher. But remember, uh, don't forget about what happened Tuesday, right? These type of situations can easily happen. Uh, at this point, it does not change this thing into, into a bear situation where, you know, I mean, we know they have at this point an easy history of dropping 30, 40 points, recovering plus more. And by the way, another reason to short this thing here, guys, we're watching this level, right? 340, 342. And initially when it spiked on Friday, they got here. It just, it couldn't break that level. So in a way, it was a double top formation. When, we, when the volume started showing up and the sellers started coming in, we're like, hey, there's not enough time left in the day for it to take this level out. But clearly that was the mistake, okay? And we can't get every trade perfectly, guys, but there's gonna be, but we've nailed so many trades on this thing and I finally made a mistake, guys. But there's gonna be so many more trades to nail here. In the upcoming few weeks guys so uh, despite of whether you've made a ton of money with us where you've lost some money I encourage you to focus uh, learn from your experiences hopefully this analysis and breakdown of the chart of mRNA what transpired this week um, has helped you to visualize things a little bit better and uh, let's focus on next week and trade like rock stars guys I'll catch you on the next video soon 
Uh, click the link below. Schedule a 20-minute call if you have any questions at all about mRNA, BNTX, any market outlook, anything you're considering trading next week. Schedule a call by clicking the link below. Go to 13 Let's roll.